What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon VGC 2022 video. So the other day, uh, I wanted to try out things that would work for Xerneas, because Xerneas is a pretty cool restricted. It's gotten a bad rep in previous formats, because people think it's brain dead or it's busted. In my opinion, all the Xerneas players out there, you get a bad reputation for no reason. This Pokemon's perfectly balanced, and it's it takes genuine skill to pilot at a high level, so shout out to all you guys who like Xerneas. Uh, but in this format, Man, sometimes it feels like dog water, and I've been trying to find a way to use it, and in my opinion, the only two or three restricteds that it does positively into are like the main dragon types that you see. So like the occasional Kurum White, Zygarde teams, uh, and also uh, Eveltal. But the issue is all of them love being next to Zacian, as most things do. It's very hard to find a team that isn't running Zacian in this format. Uh, so I tried to find things that would help Xerneas in those matchups, being Kyogre and like a mixed Sunroom team. So yeah, uh, before we get into this testing session, do me a favor, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. How would you run Xerneas to make it work? Last time we tried testing a restricted out, it was Lunala, and while I think we could tweak the team a bit, I think it was pretty successful. Uh, Lunala plus Zacian is a pretty solid combo, and here we're testing out reindeer a tied and true combo that we used to see in previous formats also be sure to check out links to my patreon for extra content and to support the channel and also check out the discord where you can get full team paste and stuff there people always ask marcos where are the pastes it's in the discord join the discord that's just an incentive to get people in there i'll be honest uh but yeah uh this team i've tested out quite a bit but i'm still not confident enough to use it on my main account um and yeah, basically Xerneas and Kyogre are pretty well next to each other uh, because while they are both special attackers, uh, they cover each other pretty well. Kyogre doesn't like facing off against AVE Veltal. Xerneas loves facing off against AVE Veltal because he just Geomancy and Annihilate them. Uh, Scarf Kyogre, I think, was the best pick because it makes facing off versus uh, Zacian just, just a bit easier. It just makes it a little bit less... It, you have to think about it less. <laughs> There's less like, okay, do I have my tailwind up? Can I KO this thing? And it's more just start clicking buttons. Speaking of clicking buttons, we have a G-Max Venusaur on this team, along with a uh, pretty physically defensive Torkoal. Obviously, it's to help us take uh, physical hits in general, but also uh, mainly to take like high horsepowers from opposing uh, Calyrex Ices. Uh, we have a Focus Sash Tornadus with Rain Dance on it because a lot of the time we will have sun on the field and I might want to switch up the weather or if we're facing off against a sun team itself, switching up the weather is going to be very important, <clears throat> especially with a Scarf Kyogre. Um, what else is on here? Yeah, we have Weather Ball and Venusaur, obviously. And the latest addition to the team that I find super, super good is this Porygon 2, and I'm actually running uh, Recover, Trick Room, Thunderbolt instead of Ice Beam because I think we have enough ways of dealing with Dragon types on this team. Uh, and we're running Foul Play, and I think Foul Play is like super, super good in this format. Uh, it helps out versus Groudon, helps out versus Calyrex Ice especially. It's a one shot on like even zero attack uh, Calyrex Shadows, and just versus Zacian, it's like halfway decent damage, you know? So yeah, now also we're running Trace because we're mostly going to be clicking Foul Play. Uh, and Trace is kind of nice because if we want to copy an ability, like let's say, hey, there is an opposing Torkoal on the other side of the field and I want to reset my sun, but my Torkoal is gone, then hey, look at that. Porygon 2 hits the field, copies the, the drought, and all of a sudden the Venusaur is twice as fast again. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit the ladder with this thing. Uh, not that, that was a idea I had for a Lugia team. People always ask me, like, is Lugia any good? And I always have to say, no, I don't think it's good. Uh, I think the only way you're going to get away with running Lugia, and this might be a future video, is you have to, like, lean hard into the defensive set. Yeah, it's weakness policy is way too predictable and way too easy to get around. Uh, I think if you're prepared for things like Zacian, it becomes a lot easier. As we see in opposing uh, Zacian and Kyogre team, honestly, I will say this outright. Xerneas, it can be replaced with Zacian and this team instantly becomes better. Uh, but we're trying to use Xerneas, so this is our hell. This is the hell that we're stuck with. Uh, I think that in this matchup, we actually just straight up don't bring the Xerneas, unfortunately. Uh, however, my Kyogre does pretty good here uh, because we can Tailwind and Annihilate like a Regieleki. Uh, if it's not Sash, I think the Sash is probably going to be on the Tornadus, um, but it could also be on the Urshifu. So there are a couple of places the Sash could be that would be uh, ideal for us. Uh, we can also go with a little bit of a mixed lead. I actually like leading off Kyogre Venusaur. Uh, because we can bring the Torkoal in the back, which is okay into this. And I think my last Pokemon 
Uh, we can get away with either Tornadus or Porygon 2. I think I might go P2 here just because um, it's like neutral versus everything. As we do see the Regieleki hit the field, I think this is a perfectly fine situation to go for a Vine Lash. Uh, there's like really nothing stopping me here. The reason I want to Vine Lash the Aleki is because while it may Volt Switch, whatever comes in on that uh, on that side uh, isn't going to like taking a, a Vine Lash, right? And also, the Tornadus has to make a decision. Do I set up the Rain again with Rain Dance and then Hurricane? Or do I just go for the Raw Hurricane and hope that I don't switch in my... Um, hope that I don't switch in my Torkoal here. So, yeah, uh, there's a little bit more prediction that my opponent has to do compared to me. What is my test account on right now? We test so much bad stuff on here. We're at 11.53, so yeah, we test a lot of bad stuff on this on this channel. <laughs> but you don't know if it's going to be any good until you use it. As they are going to Tailwind, let's see the Volt Switch. There it is, into my Venusaur, trying to break a Sash, I would assume, but they're Life Orbs, so um, there's a chance they're, like, physical. There's the Zacian. It's not going to like the chip damage it has to take for the rest of this game, pretty much. Uh, and in this situation, I want to make a read and say that they're just going to switch in the Kyogre to eat whatever hit I go for. Uh, I want to, for that reason, just go for a Yawn onto the Zacian and probably switch right into my P2. I might end my Dynamax soon because um, obviously I can get one shot by this guy. Actually, no, there's like no reason not to just Heat Wave and Max Guard because after the Vine Lash damage, even if he switches in the, the Kyogre, like he's taking way more than he wants to. And yeah, like even then, this Tornadus doesn't like this. Yeah, there's, there's more Vine Lash damage, literally just absurd amounts of Vine Lash damage. Uh, let me get in my P2 here, and now I don't know if I max guard, to be honest. Maybe I actually pull a double. I can go Kyogre and Porygon 2 and just eat hits here uh, and like be fine. I don't need to max guard. If anything, I think I switch in my Ogre on the Torkoal slot, and I go for Porygon 2 on this slot, because Porygon 2 can eat the hit from Tornadus, and Tornadus is going to be a non-issue in like two turns. And we also get Prankster, which is gross. <laughs> We now have Pranks to recover, so watch this, watch this, watch this. Hey, guess what? Next one's bouncing off of me. Next one is just bouncing off of me. Uh, I kind of hope he's Scarf because that will allow me to be annoying. Actually, I could go and... I, I want to recover here, I really do. What's the likelihood he's Scarf? Um, Hurricane went before the Spout, so he's not... Okay, okay. I'm gonna do this. He could taunt me, but I think he's probably Rain Dance. Spout doesn't do that much. He actually lands the Hurricane, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, I still have Recover, and this is the last turn he can take advantage of. Actually, no. I think I, I'm, I'm gonna double here. I'm gonna double here because I think he's gonna Rain Dance. I think he has it. I think he's got Rain Dance. Okay, he doesn't have Rain Dance. That's fine. Because... I think my play here... is going Venusaur. And I need to get rid of this Tornadus. Um, and Ice Beam could knock me out. It depends how bulky or fast his Kyogre is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just Leaf Storm here. Because he's got a Tailwind, right? I'm also losing a lot of health on my Torkoal this turn, which kind of sucks. Um, there's the Protect. That's fine. Uh, he definitely doesn't have Rain Dance. And that's like a huge factor in how I play the rest of this game. I'm going to Heat Wave. And I also want to, I'm like, I'm, I'm legitimately tempted to weather ball into the tornado slot, expecting the, the Zacian to come out, but I don't think Zacian ever comes out like ever. Like I almost did that. I don't know why I did that. What if I heat wave and weather ball the Kyogre? That's actually a legit play I could make uh, because he might expect me to, uh, Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to Weather Ball the Kyogre. He Dynamaxes. Okay. 
I think I lose. <laughs> I didn't expect the, the Dynamax there. That's on me. That's on me. Uh, not much I could have done anyways. Anyways, GG. Yeah, not much I could have done there as soon as the Tornadus Dynamaxed. Okay, this is like our most positive matchup possible with the, Z with the Xerneas. Uh, Xerneas could lose here. Obviously, you know. Uh, Eveltal Evel Groudon loves its uh, Venusaurs next to it. Uh, but if they can't stop me from setting up, they're, they're not going to like the outcome of this. Uh, I think what I'll do is... I want to pressure the... Uh, actually, I think a late game Xerneas setup is probably going to be better. So I'm going to lead off Kyogre Tornadus. Uh, and that will allow me to rain dance to annoy a lot of things. Uh, and I think in the back, I'm going to bring the Xerneas. And as my last Mon, uh, I get quite a bit of value out of an opposing Venusaur. I also really have to use the bathroom. So after this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip and come back. Yeah, um, so the, the thing about leading off Scarf Kyogre with Tornadus is uh, Regieleki can't outspeed me. Uh, I will pretty much always be able to Tailwind and knock it out, uh, unless obviously they, you know, do something a little crazy, like they, they're running like Scarf. Um, here, I am actually just going to go ahead and Water Spout and Rain Dance, uh, because he should never not switch in the Groudon and try to do something crazy here. He could also like choice ban sucker punch me, but that isn't terribly common. If he's AV, it would make a lot of sense for him to go Groudon. Because Groudon with like special defense investment can always take the hit. And he's mostly trying to enable the Eveltal. Like I could see like a Dynamax play, like a max airstream into my ogre. Uh, did, excuse me? Guys, I don't know what just happened. I, I, I don't, I mean, okay, let me do this, I guess, I'm gonna Geomit, he can't, I don't think he can knock me out, I don't know why that just happened, but I think I'm fine, he's gonna lower my speed, yeah, but like, I don't even think I Dynamax this guy to win anymore, I think I literally just yeah, I Vine Lash you, and I think I just Dazzling Gleam because it catches everything that comes in. Because I'm still going to outspeed the Eveltal, right? And just KO it. That that made no sense to me. I have no idea what they did there. <laughs> or why they did that. Alright, so I lose my speed advantage, but... Um, what I can do here is... I'm 139. This thing can hit 145 if it's timid. I mean, I can just Hailstorm their Venusaur and protect. And that, like, always KOs it. And yeah, you can do that, but... I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, I'm faster than you. I should be faster with everything. Yeah, GG. That, I have no idea why they did that. Anyways, um, that match almost made me pee my pants, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's try to go positive in this video. Obviously, Reindeer isn't as good as it used to be, right? But <laughs> the goal here is to just make it good. I'll be honest. Why am I using this? My girlfriend's trying to get back into VGC because she last time she played was like Series 7. Uh, and she liked it a lot, right? And she said, Marcos, can you make me a Xerneas team? And I went, okay, Xerneas is like the worst one you could have asked for, but I can try. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the origin of why we're using this right now. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. Uh, I think I bring Venusaur in the back here. And I think as my last Mon, I think we go... I, I mean, we can go P2, but it's it's not going to be great. Like, P2's fine. I think maybe we go Xerneas? You know what? I don't care if we lose this one. We're going Xerneas. I don't need this Torkoal. Just kidding. We need the Torkoal. We need the Torkoal. I, I want to use the Xerneas, right? I really want to make the Xerneas work, but... I, it almost seems like dead weight in a lot of matchups. And here is a, a good example as to why 
uh, Xerneas might not be the best. So uh, they should be thinking, ah, gee whiz, you know what? I don't, I don't know how good I do. Actually, wait, what, what are they thinking here? So if I Tailwind here, they can go into Groudon and then like annihilate me with Regieleki. Um, I mean, he is going to be faster. Even though I'm Scarf. I kind of have to Tailwind for this to work. But I want to say... I don't drop to a single Volt. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to Origin Pulse and I'm going to Rain Dance. Okay. Let's see if I can somehow live this. Electroweb, got him. I just got to connect. Got him. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but I think he's mad. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I think he's mad, bro. You know what? Google Translate. Check this out. Google Translate. Oh, love the content. Oh, thank you. He's a fan. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't... What What did that mean? Hold on. Um, translate to English. Uh, detect language. Huh? Okay. Okay. That makes more sense. I was like, I don't think that's like just a straight up word. Anyways, we got it. That is that is a rain dance moment. That is a rain dance moment. Anyway, that's also a thumbnail moment. I'm just going to put that out. That is a thumbnail moment. And this, this is like one of the few matchups where Xerneas can do something. Why? Because this doesn't resist it. This doesn't resist it. This doesn't resist it. This is super effective, you know, and then he's got two good resistances. But guess what? If I Tailwind and lead off Tornadus, his resistances are his his speed is gone, right? Actually, how fast? How fast does this thing get? I'm like 99% sure I'm faster under Tailwind. I, I, I just got to I can never remember Colossal speed tier, so I have to do this real quick. I forget what number it hits. Uh, let's do worst case scenario. Timid. 90 times 4 is 360. Uh, I am definitely faster than 360 with this thing. So I'm going to lead off the way I want to lead off. Uh, and I will also bring the Xerneas in the back for purely just the fact that I want to I want to make it work. I really do. Uh, and I think as my last mod, I can actually go... Do I go Torkoal? Torkoal could be fine, but it's like not going to do anything... It's only going to like inhibit my my Kyogre from doing stuff. So I think I'm going to go P2. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, you know, I'm actually very happy with this. Like, yeah, they can Sucker Punch me. They can do that. But I should be able to... I want to O-Pulse. I don't know if it actually KOs the Zacian from this range. If it's bulky, it doesn't. So maybe I actually just Dynamax right here and Tailwind to try to annihilate Zacian immediately because that actually makes the Xerneas' job much easier. Because he might just Sucker Punch me and be like a bulky Zacian. Okay, uh, he's going to take that, right? But we should be faster still because we Tailwinded. So I'm going to go for this. I'm going to max Geyser once more. He shouldn't have many switch-ins. Uh, and if the Rillaboom does come in, I can also just double Hurricane. Because, like, Rillaboom is, like, his only true switch in there. Yeah. All right, the double seems to have worked out. Uh, he was actually faster, interestingly enough. But here I can go P2 pretty safely. Uh, basically, the reason I'm going P2 is... Actually, no, I can Geomancy, like, for free. Yeah, because I have a Tailwind up. I guess it depends how fast the Veltal is. I suppose that's actually a pretty big factor here. And if, like, the Rillaboom or Incineroar comes out, then yeah, I just switch into my P2. Um, and I can... I'm going to Hurricane the Incin, because I'm more concerned with that. I'd rather just, like, break... Um, I'd rather just like break a, not break, but like get chip damage to stop him from like living a plus two Moonblast or something. As he does Airstream, that's fine. Uh, here I can, I, I want to say he might, <laughs> I want to say he might be weakness policy by how he like immediately Dynamax this thing. Uh, but Eveltal really isn't scary if I can 
get it alone with Xerneas, because like it, it, he, most of his moves bounce off, right? And I still have the Tailwind. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double this Incineroar with a Hurricane and a Foul Play, because this is Dark Aura boosted. He actually parting shots. Something's going to come in and it's not going to like it. I kind of hope it's Rillaboom. Actually, regardless of what comes in, it's not going to like it. This is Dark Aura boosted Foul Play. This is basically Choice Band. Well, not really, but basically, but not really. That did a lot. Um, I want to say he's going to predict me to protect. But it's not really worth predicting that. So I can just protect here and try to recover as he does go for that double. Um, here. I mean, I can go for the risky foul play <laughs> or for the risky rain dance hurricane or non rain dance hurricane. Um, I, I definitely want to get rid of Rillaboom if I want to win this. So I think I'm just going to go for it. Like, even though I'm at like minus one, this should still do a decent amount. It's mostly just going to be about getting the Rillaboom off the field as he does grassy glide. If I can get rid of this thing, that's going to be huge. Please, please connect. I don't connect, unfortunately. Uh, let me protect here. And I have to, I think, I think I have to go for the raw hurricane again. He snarls. It's going to do quite a bit, actually. Yikes. Yikes. All right, I do connect, which is great. Uh, I'm not terribly scared of Incineroar. So I think my play here is going to be, I can attempt to Dazzling Gleam, right? Um, but I, actually, do I just Dazzling Gleam? I don't even think I Geomancy. Actually, it doesn't matter if I Geomancy does it. He's a special techer. I should Geomancy, technically. It's not really a waste of a turn. Uh, I can't rely on the double protect. So I'm going to Rain Dance here to lower the damage of a possible Incineroar Flare Blitz. Because a Flare Blitz could actually knock me out if he like crits an Oblivion Wing. And yeah, this became much safer. I can Geomancy. The reason I Geomancy is just for longevity purposes. Um, but also now I have 100% accurate Hurricane. So this probably just KOs. He could Sucker Punch me if he has it, but I doubt he does. He might actually just be AV. Nice. Um, and now, even though I'm at minus one, I should pretty confidently be able to single target this Incineroar to secure a KO. I don't want to Dazzling Gleam because he's obviously going to get another Snarl off first. Uh, but in the 1v1, I should be fine. Ooh, he actually takes quite a bit of health there. I, I'm i so scared of him actually being... <laughs> actually being weakness policy. Do I Geomancy again? Is that like a legit thing I could do here? Because he's going to Oblivion Wing me. This might be a throw. I'm going to Geomancy again. Oh, he snarled. I was really hoping he would just Oblivion Wing there. This becomes easier to win if he's like weakness policy, but I'm going to turn on the timer as well. Okay. Now I'm faster and I'm super, super bulky, so I can click Moonblast. If he's weakness policy, I lose, obviously, but uh, I like eat every non-weakness policy boost to hit. All right, nice. I won. <laughs> I won Moonblast. I mean, he could also just Sucker Punch crit me if he's got it, but he hasn't clicked it yet. But yeah, that was super close. That was very scary in the end. Oh, he had it, but we live. Nice. That's why you put the HP investment. That's why That's why you put the HP investment there. I think I could have gone just Moonblasting him over and over again, but I was really scared he was weakness policy. And any chance I had to bypass that, I think was super important. Um, yeah, I, I kind of overthought that one, but I think we're fine. As you can see, I have quite a bit of HP investment, which definitely saved us there. Let's try to get one more. Okay, uh, this is awful for Xerneas because there was a Solgaleo on this other field, and I can't think of a harder check than Solgaleo because you can't even intimidate that thing. Uh, I think we can still bring it, though. Like, it's obviously not super, super bad, um, but we have to, like, lean on Kyogre quite a bit. I think what I'll do here is I'll go Kyogre, Venusaur, Xerneas, and Torkoal. I don't really see a need for the... Um, 
I don't really see a need for like the P2 or the Torn in this matchup. Like he doesn't have any super strong speed boosting options. Uh, if he does just lead off with the Zapdos, I can get a pretty strong uh, Water Spout off versus it. But he could also go with like Grim Snarl Zapdos lead, and that could be kind of annoying. Uh, in which case, we're kind of out of luck, but we just kind of make the best of it. But I want to say versus. <laughs> Versus like uh, Geomancy Xerneas, you don't not lead off with a fake out user. Because it's so important for Xerneas to get that off for it to even be viable in my opinion. Like yeah, I could specs my Xerneas, but then I lose that bonus when I'm Dynamaxed. And yeah. Uh, he does opt to just go with this lead. I think we... I think we go for Vine Lash damage if anything. And it might seem short-sighted like yeah, you know, you you can Vine Lash here. But what do you get past that? I think we get quite a bit. Um, I'm going to Vine Lash the Grim Snarl. Because I'd like to get rid of that ASAP. He's going to Dynamax, of course. Let's see if he scary faces. He light screens, that's fine. I was kind of expecting that. And there's the Max Lightning, which does KO me. Um, but now that we have Vine Lash up. I might be able to Geomancy. It's going to be really, really close, though. Uh, it depends how fast this thing is. I can protect here. And he's going to Airstream, isn't he? I think he wants to Airstream in, like, Scary Face. I mean, that's an option you can go for. Check this out. Please just scary face me and let me get this off for free. That'd be so poggers, dude. That'd be so poggers. He goes so Galio. Okay. If he doesn't KO my Xerneas here, he's kind of in trouble. Airstream. Oh, yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. He just let me get this. He just straight up let me. He, he just straight up let me get this. Um, I can... Definitely KO that Solgaleo now, even behind like the light screen. I think my play here is going to be to Dazzling Gleam, and I should be faster than the Zapdos because he's only at plus one. He has no rain moves. He has no um, rain setters. I can max Flare and Dazzling Gleam. That should KO the Solgaleo, even though it's like behind light screen because we're at plus 2.5. As he protects, um, I don't think I care because I should still be in a decent spot. Okay. Okay. So I protect here, and I think I give him... He still has a turn of Vine Lash, so he loses the Zapdos next turn. I give him this, uh, and I can attempt a Weather Ball. But yeah, I protect and I Weather Ball here. Because Zapdos goes down next turn, I believe. Heat Wave, that's fine. He Earthquakes. Why would you Earthquake there? And he take... Oh, Zapdos didn't go down. Okay. Um, watch him not have a steel move. That'd be insane. Dazzling Gleam. Maybe I'm faster than these guys, but... I'm probably faster than Solgaleo, truth be told. I'm gonna lock into Opulse. As he thunders. Yeah, I win. I think. I think I win. He let me get to plus 2.5 with this thing. Oh yeah, no, I win. I win. Uh, let me Dazzling Gleam here and Opulse again. Unless he's like super weakness policy, he's not winning. Or if he's like fake out. That could also be an out for him. Oh, that's also a, a possible out. Because I definitely missed this turn, judging by the damage. Or maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, good game. Uh, now I just lock Moonblast. <laughs> GG. Okay. So, I don't, what did we win and what did we lose today? Um, I, I want to start closing off these testing sessions with my thoughts for the team. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I, I don't know how many won we lost. I think we lost one or two and won the rest. I kind of lost track after I went to go pee. But I think if you're going to use Xerneas, Kyogre is your best partner 100% of the time. Uh, and you definitely want, and Kyogre's like best partner beyond Zacian is Venusaur, right? Because you can put Torkoal. 
I think that if you're going to make a Xerneas team, it's going to look something like this. Um, if you want like the best results, obviously we can improve on this as all teams can always be improved um, to better fit the metagame. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results we have. I think I could take this to higher ladder if I really, really put some time and effort into it. But this team isn't for me. It's for someone else. So uh, I'm going to let I'm going to let her play with it for a little bit. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.